Hi guys, welcome back to Mad Outdoor Adventures. Today I'm going to be reviewing my Brownie BPS 20 gauge shotgun for the yearly review. Stay tuned. Welcome to Mad Outdoor Adventures, where we'll be in the woods or on the water with our family and friends. Let's find an adventure. All right, so I've had this gun about a year now and I wanted to give you guys an update on how I feel about it, how I like it. So uh, first off, uh, my husband added a very cute decal um, to the gun. So I'm super excited about that, which matches my case. I have the Muddy Girl soft shell case for this. Fits perfectly in here. It's lightweight, which um, I like a lot. And um, obviously it's a little girly. So um, let's just get into it. So this gun is the Browning um, BPS 20 gauge shotgun. Um, and it does have the 26 inch barrel with a three inch chamber. Obviously this is a pump. Um, and one of the things that attracted me to this gun was the walnut stock that was on it as well as this um, area here that is kind of textured where your hands go. I just felt like it's really comfortable. I like it when I'm shooting it. My hand doesn't slip when I'm pulling the pump. Um, and it even has the browning decal here, which I really liked. But overall, I just liked how this gun looked um, and felt when I was at the store. It also has a rubber recoil pad on the end, which made this gun appealing to me as well. When I was shooting it, it's really comfortable um, on my shoulder, like I said, with the grips here and on the pump. And then the recoil pad really does absorb a lot of that recoil that you get from shooting a shotgun. This gun did come with a full modified and improved cylinder choke. Uh, which also was pretty cool as well. Um, some of the things that I liked about this gun, like I said, was just the color, the stock, the grips on it, the texture that was here. Uh, being my first pump, I really liked how this felt with the grooves here for your fingers to rest and that texture. Uh, I also liked how the um, safety is on this gun. So the safety is here on the top. So it's really comfortable when you press your thumb here and it slides up really quietly, up and down, um, which was important as well. I would definitely change a couple things. So a couple things I was really bummed about is we went to put a sling on this gun and there was no sling, sling clips. So I do not like this sling. I don't like how it's attached to the gun. It kind of gets in the way or I have to take it on and off in the woods, which can be a pain and a hassle. So. That is something that I don't like about it. I wish that it had sling clips and I wish that I could have a nicer sling on here. So with this, with the sling being just kind of in the way, the only way we're gonna be able to fix that is to get the holes professionally drilled um, to put the sling clips on so I can get a nicer sling. So that is to come down the road. Um, also, we added the fiber optic sight. Well, my husband added it, kudos to him. Um, so he added this nice fiber optic sight, which definitely enhanced and improved this gun tremendously. So highly recommend if you're going to get this gun to make sure you get a nice fiber optic sight to put on the front because it does make shooting easier and you can be more accurate. Another thing about this gun that I was pretty disappointed about was I've only taken this out a few times and it does scratch really easily. So I'm not crazy rough on this. I keep it in a case when I'm not hunting or in the woods. And when I came back for my first hunt, there is some scrapes already on the walnut stock, which is disappointing for sure. So out of this gun, I've shot four different types of shells. I've shot just regular target load, which shot really nicely, um, really accurate with the target shells. The recoil was really limited because of this nice recoil pad that comes on the back of it. I was really impressed with how it shot. I really liked how it felt. I also shot high brass game loads for squirrels. I shot also shot three inch waterfowl load and three inch turkey load. So um, all of them shot nicely. I didn't have any issues with the pump. didn't have any issues with anything sticking. Like I said, overall, super impressed with the gun. Really like this as my 20 gauge shotgun. Really thankful for my husband for putting this cool decal on here. So overall, I would give this gun probably a seven out of 10. I think for the price that we paid, it is a really nice shotgun. I like all the details on it. Um, I was bummed about the stock getting scratched on my first hunt uh, pretty easily because I don't remember beating it up on anything. 
Also, another thing I was disappointed about was definitely the sling. So every gun I feel like should have sling clips. This one obviously does not. Now I'm gonna have to pay an extra expense to go get some professionally drilled. Kind of disappointed in that. Um, but overall, definitely a good quality gun. Definitely feels great, definitely shoots great. And um, I would recommend getting it if you're looking for a 20 gauge shotgun. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with browning for a while. I really like browning. I like the way they look, but I will definitely look out for those sling clips in the future. Um, if you haven't watched my full review on this gun when I first unbox it, go ahead and click that link up there. And if you have looked at the video, thank you so much. If you liked watching this video today, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my husband's YouTube channel. It is definitely awesome. And we have more outdoor content coming your way. Stay tuned.